Hey guys, Dusty Baker across the Summers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. I know this is a little bit different of a scene. No, I'm not hanging out in the pasture with my bison. Um, I'm actually just hanging out in the backyard. It's a beautiful evening. I want to share something with you. Today, I went and visited a bison ranch. I got to do something that I hardly ever get to do and I really enjoy doing. Uh, but today, I went and visited a large privately owned bison ranch located in Oklahoma. Only located about an hour away from our ranch just had a unique connection to be able to go to this private ranch through my pawpaw coke which was set several years ago i was able to link up and, and made some phone calls and uh, because of that connection through my grandfather it led me to go into this ranch today it's called the clearwater ranch it's located in blanchard oklahoma just south of oklahoma city area this ranch is privately owned it's a huge bison ranch over 12,000 acres it's a ranch that i've been following for a while ever since i got that connection i haven't been able to go visit this ranch but i did today follow me along Seven. So you you had had some from Dawson's past, or yeah, he's kind of got really hard. Oh, he did. I knew he had done it in Nebraska, but uh, that red dirt was. Gary was able to show me around. They're busy cutting hay, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time on the ranch this morning, but he did take time out of his busy hay cutting season to show me around the ranch a little bit and show me his big herd. And when I say big herd, I'm talking 450 plus cow calf herd, big herd. One of the biggest herds I've actually been a part of. A lot of these feeders come attached with these sirens and a lot of just like cattle people turn on their sirens and that means it's feed time that means it's it's an important time <coughs> using that feeder and that truck it's a little bit safer than using an ATV like myself I know I need a farm truck I know I do <laughs> using that farm truck they get used to that and you can hear the sound in the video you can hear the that sound that you're hearing that sound is feed being dispensed out from the hopper in the back of the truck that's a safe way to feed the bison of course they come up you can see them running to the truck because they're excited because they know what they get 
that is actually a great way to move bison when you need to move them pastures. And hopefully I can use that tool someday. You see me out there with the ATV shaking the bucket? <laughs> I know, right? Now I can do that because I have a little small herd and I've spent a lot of time with them. Yeah. Hey, Dallas. beautiful animals. They had a lot of really good looking animals. I did learn today that a lot of the animals that this owner particularly started with was Doc Parson. Doc helped this gentleman get started on his private ranch. Some of the animals out here on this property are actually from Canadian River Bison, which is Doc Parson's bison herd. Another great part of visiting this ranch is I was able to see their handling system. I was able to see their funnel system of how they actually catch that many animals. When you're dealing with hundreds of bison, it's a little bit challenging, I'm sure, but that's why you got that feed truck. So you can get them up there and you can funnel them down into smaller and smaller pens into your holding areas and actually your alley and into your tub and into your squeeze chutes. I don't have quite 400 bison, but I'm always trying to improve our equipment, improve our handling system to make it easier for our bison. They've got about, I think he said seven mature bulls out there, breeding bulls oh. with the herd. And if you think about it, you've got 450 cow-calf animals out there. You've got seven bulls. You can do the math on how much ground that these bulls cover when it comes to breeding season. And if you've got big herds like that, you need that many bulls to make sure that all of your females are getting bred. Oh, uh, you use safe parking. They hang out together quite a bit. <laughs> I've heard that a good healthy bull, depending on your grass and water and all those conditions, health conditions, one bison bull can breed up to 25 females. That's pretty good. Yeah. So you just get a bunch of tractors out here and those panels and push them all the way through. Golly. I learned a lot of things just by visiting this ranch. I'm always trying to pick up new things when you go and visit these ranches. I know you've seen some of my videos. If you haven't, you can go back and watch a lot of my, I got two Addington Farm Ranch visits on there. I was actually working the bison. Here, I didn't have to work the bison. They don't work their bison until November. Gary told me that they used to keep the bulls separate. He told me that their calving rate was a, in the 70%. I wanted to say 72%, 74%. That's from keeping the bulls together and then rotating them in with the main herd when breeding season comes around. If you don't know when breeding season is, it starts really in the beginning of July and can run all the way through September. They were putting the bulls, they were keeping them together, and then they were letting them out in the main herd to breed. Naturally, the big natural herds like in Yellowstone or Custer and those places, and just like ours, we keep our bulls, Big Joe with his females, and Dunbar with those females year round. He said once they started doing that, keeping the bulls with the main herd, their calving rate went up to over 90% is what their calving rate went up to. So just learning through the process, even if you have over 400 animals, 400 bison, it's a process of learning and their calving rate has gone up. 
I thought that was pretty interesting. These guys do a lot of rotational grazing, taking care of the soil, taking care of the native grasses. It's always fun to visit other ranches, whether I'm working the bison or just going to see the bison and learn how they do things. The other part about this is it was right here in Oklahoma. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing somebody else's ranch. It's just a little bit different than seeing mine. Mine are doing great. We're still waiting on two calves and I think one will be here. We're waiting on Flo. Flo is a big Joe cow that should be having a baby soon. So we're waiting on Flo to have hers. I think she's really close. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I know it's a little bit different, but I just wanted to bring you along. It doesn't matter. It's all about bison, whether it's on my ranch or somebody else's. I just love showing you the bison. And I know that's why you follow along. And if you haven't, follow us along. This channel is all about bison. It's all about raising the American icon, America's mammal, and doing the best we can to preserve this animal and its culture and heritage. I also wanna thank Gary, the Clearwater Ranch Manager today for showing me around. I just appreciate taking time out of his busy season. They have great looking animals and I was happy to go out there and learn something new and just take a look at those beautiful majestic animals thank you again guys stay tuned i got some new gear coming around the corner got a new t-shirt and i may have some new koozies available on our website pretty soon thank you guys for watching we'll see you soon